Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. My name is Shay, and yes, today I am saying goodbye to literally the most wonderful pony in the entire world. One of the horses is leaving the farm today and going on their new journey. While I'm very excited for the new family and very happy for this pony, I'm going to be so sad because of course they're all considered my personal horses and ponies and I get very attached to them and we have done so much on this journey together. The pony that's leaving today, we have had such an adventure together and I love him so much. I've done so much with him, taken him to hunter paces, camping, trail riding, shows. He's done so much with my students and with novice riders. He's given so much confidence to people. He truly is one of those horses that's just a steady Eddie, been there, done that with what we've done over time. And he is just such a total sweetheart. I absolutely adore him and it just breaks my heart to let him go because he's literally such a good one. And everyone is like, why are you getting rid of one of your best lesson horses, your best pony, whatever the case may be. I love riding him, all of that. Well, because that is what I do and that is my mission at Free Spirit Equestrian. I am not gonna keep a horse just because they're good in a program or they're a steady Eddie. My mission is to work with horses from anywhere from one to five years and then find them their right home, the right family when the time comes even though it's really hard for me right now. And he truly is amazing in the program, but I'm not gonna keep a horse just for that reason. All of the horses that come to me, they will go on to their next home. Besides Jiminy, who's my heart horse and my first horse, and Bagheera because she's older and I don't feel like it's appropriate, you know, to put her in another home, which I've told you guys, but some of you are new to the channel. So just kind of want to update you on what I do. Okay, time to reveal to you who is going on their new adventure to their new home. It is Mr. Miko, he is leaving today. Now I know some of you don't know him as well because his journey started before I began YouTubing so you didn't really get to see the full story. But I've talked about him quite a bit and you've seen him in a lot of the videos. And it's just gonna be a really hard one for me. He truly is amazing. He's such a gentle soul. He has taken care of so many riders. So I'm gonna take him in, let him eat and we're gonna do a grooming session. Ready? So Miko is going to a really good family. He's actually going to be going to Kentucky and I do know the individual so that makes me really happy. I know they're going to treasure him and love him so much. So I feel really good about that but it also is just so hard letting him go because we've just made so many memories together which I'll show you at the end of the video. You know some of our clips. I'm putting my hand warmers in my gloves because I'm freezing. So yeah, he is a really tough one. All of them are tough, but you know, there's a lot of kids that love him too. And that's what's hard. But if I keep them all, I cannot help the next horse. And that's my mission. Just like some rescues do. They get them in, they get them healthy, feed them, adopt them out. I get them in, I work with them for one to five years, and then I find their home. Now, that's not to say that some horses I might really, really connect with, like I do that with all of them. There might be some that I do end up keeping. I don't know, but that is the goal, is to move them along. It's sort of like fostering, except I actually own them and I consider them my personal horses as well. But just like fosters, I mean, they foster dogs, cats. You can't keep all of them or you're not gonna be able to continue your mission with helping others. So, you know, that's what I'm all about here and hopefully, as my channel grows, I'll get more funds, maybe hire more staff, and then I can focus solely on helping horses and training and continuing that process of what I do. I'm gonna do my last grooming session with Miko. Get them all cleaned up. Miko is finishing up his breakfast while I do the grooming session on him. Now, normally I will give them a bath, but it's cold outside and I do not have warm water. And I really didn't feel like washing his legs was gonna be effective or really, you know, fair to him with this weather. So I'm just gonna brush him up really good. Then I'm gonna put some baby oil on his mane and tail and brush it out, pick his hooves, make them all pretty for his new owner. He's being such a sweet boy. He's always so good and gentle and kind.
so yeah, it's going to be so hard. I'm really going to miss him so much. He really is one of those like rare unicorn, just sweet natured ponies. And that's what's so hard about it is because he is so good with what I do. But I don't think it's fair to any horse just to stay in a program because they're a good school horse. So he is going to be with a lovely woman and her two kids that are going to adore him. We'll stay in contact. Like, I know this person. I've met this person. So I'm happy about that. But sad for me. Miko is leaving in about 30 minutes. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to feed the horses. And I want to say something positive. So I just want to do a few of my thank yous right now while we wait because I'm definitely going to be emotional towards the end. So let's do that now. So a huge thank you to Christy for our Amazon wish list gifts. She got us this shampoo and then this hoof pick and then this clear eye solution for horses. You don't understand how much it means to me. Thank you, Christy. If you guys want to support Free Spirit Equestrian, I don't ask for donations. So if you want to do that, you can go to the Amazon wish list. The link is in the description. We truly appreciate anything. And everything on there is obviously for the horses. And it goes towards them and really helps us out. If you send us a gift, don't forget to put a note with your name on it so I can give you a shout out and thank you. If you want to remain anonymous, then you can do that as well. Thank you so much, horse lovers. I really, really appreciate all of you so much. Miss you, buddy. He's getting picked up now. She's here. You sweet boy. I know. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. for you. <laughs> I love your hat. Oh, you are a good boy. He looks good in almost every color. So that's nice. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. We do like little neck massages here. He likes that a lot. Oh. So if he's doing that, he's usually like, yeah, I want a neck massage. Yeah. I'm gonna miss you, Miko boy. We're getting ready to say our goodbyes. He is such a darling pony. This is definitely the hardest part about what I do is letting horses go to their new home. But again, that way I can repeat the process and help more, but it does not take away from the emotion that I feel when I do release them into their new home. It's very hard for me and I always am gonna miss him. But luckily I'll get to see updates and update you horse lovers as well on his new journey. She's getting the trailer ready and he's about ready to load up and he's just wondering what's going on. He's so precious. Goodbye, Miko. I'll love you forever. All right, Miko just left and I'm emotional. It hasn't fully hit me yet that he's like gone and he's leaving, but I've been thinking about it so much and it's just really hard. But now there is space for another horse and to help them. So I think that's like the positive side of it. And I know he's gonna be so loved and I think it's different this time because I know the person 
so I still feel connected to him, which obviously I would, but you know what I mean? And I'll get to see like all the updates and I can still go see him if I want. So it's just like, it's a little different situation, but I'm very happy for them. I'm very happy for Miko. He deserves this so much to have his own family. And yeah. All right, horse lovers, I am freezing. I'm gonna go inside. I really hope that you enjoy this journey of Free Spirit Equestrian and that you get to see where all the horses start, where they end up, all of those different types of scenarios. And make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian. And I'll see you next time, horse lovers. Bye. <gasps> Look at Mr. Miko. Hey, bud. How are you? Good job, guys. Good job.